Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much. Um, the community is growing faster than I really ever thought it was going to actually do, which I'm so grateful for. You know, it's just more of us is coming in tune with each other and sending each other validation and just sharing, sharing our thoughts and opinions towards people and sending love and energy is a beautiful thing. So we really need to keep that going. I'm just so happy that our community is growing so fast and that's truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just like tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Direction. Also... If you feel like the video is just very informative to you or just gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a fellow empath or somebody who's truly going through something right now that you feel like they need to hear, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you are giving me towards the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, the beautiful meditation music that I'm listening to is called Music to Calm the Mind and Stop uh, Thinking, uh, what is it, Relaxation Music, and I will post that link in the description box below. I love the fact is that I see these beautiful meditations and some of them are like in a different language, but when I press on it, they, they convert it over to English, so that is a really good thing. So if you know, if you're, you know, you're American or you just don't don't understand the, the other native language that the meditation is using you can push it always push it over and they you know they convert it over to english so you can understand what kind of meditation is for so um y'all you know i'm still doing the thing for my daughter i just haven't been saying it i get tired of saying it over and over and over again but if you can um, i'm going to be putting her website in all my videos she only has i think 11 days left it's either um yeah just, I think it's 11 days because it's like the last time I did videos I pushed 13 so it's been two days since then so she has 11 days left if you can stop by her website she's uh you know asking for donations if you're able to it's greatly appreciated even if it's like five dollars or something like that you know it's, it's all whatever you know whatever you can give it's a blessing just to be able to have you know she's starting her own book uh, collaborating with different uh, artists and poets and stuff and they're just putting all these different things into a book you know for everybody to be able to see you know they she is with really talented people she even shares them on Facebook on people making these big you know portraits and stuff like that and they're so beautiful and you know she's a fellow empath herself as well so she puts a lot of that in her her paintings as well and today my video is about twin flame 101 uni universe having you pushing your own em pushing your envelope Y'all, I don't know, it's just, you know, I love when I get on one-on-ones with people. You know, I never talk about what, you know, we discuss, but I can use a certain situation that, you know, we're heading towards or it just pins points. I'm like, okay, what am I going to use for content? And I can use something that, you know, I've discussed with another one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, family member about a certain situation I might be helping them with or they just need advice for and I always tell people will you stop arming my cats over here messing around with my notebook and she keeps playing with stuff um about certain things that they're going through and I'm like oh you know what there might be other people going through this as well so you know let me go ahead and talk about this content or whatever girl if you don't quit um and it's just like you know lately a lot of, of us has been going out of our comfort I'm not out of our comfort zone. I don't want to use that word because that's on another, um, on another content video that I'm going to be placing, uh, be talking about. Um, just having you do different things a different way. Uh, you know, there's sometimes we can lose our jobs. 
or we're not happy with our jobs because you know there's a lot of us who just be at the jobs because it's good pay or whatever but you dread going to that job i'm like i tell y'all I, I i don't sugarcoat nothing i'll be very honest about uh the things that i've done in the past because it's just like shoot who doesn't have a past you know some people try to not talk about their past or whatever but i'm, I'm the type of person i'm like i don't care you know People have done things that they're not proud of or whatever, but, you know, I had a reason behind mine. You know, there's times I used to go to my jobs and, and smoke weed before I went to my job because I already know I don't want to cuss out nobody because I got to deal with ignorant folks. People come at you stupid, you know, because I had to work, work around a whole bunch of women. And, you know, dealing with a whole bunch of women like that, you know, it can be annoying at times. It can be very annoying. So I'm like, let me go ahead and smoke this real quick because I don't want to have that F at all. You know, that was my F it all button, <laughs> you know, because it was just like after dealing with all that, you ain't going to worry about nothing because you're going to be too high to be thinking about it. Just let me do my job. I do what I got to do and I'm going to go home while I'm getting paid. So it was it is what it is. But it's just like it's a blessing now that I can actually look at stuff and deal with it head on without needing that. You know, I thank the universe for allowing me to have that at that time, because it was like me not knowing why I was getting you know, I was getting energy from all these different people and, you know, just feeling everything, you know, because I just feel like if you're an empath and it's a true blessing, if you never had a drinking problem, a pill popping problem, a weed problem, a meth problem, a cocaine problem, if you were able to do, deal with things you had to do head on, I give you a lot of props. You a strong person. If anybody told you weren't, that's a strong thing because there ain't no way in hell. <laughs> there ain't no way. Not with the way my mind worked, the way my mind set up, no. But it's just like you can go through a situation where you're not you're not comfortable like in a relationship. You you constantly keep you know, you talking about it to yourself amongst other folks as well. You're like, I don't know why I'm dealing with this person. Or I don't know why I'm still at this job. This and this and that. And it will have you pushing your own envelope, going further than what you have to go through. And it's just like, you know, I have friends tell me, you know, Roz, I'm starting this new job and I'm scared. I don't know how, you know, these things are going or I'm starting on this new uh, project and I don't know how it's going to go. Obviously, the universe is making you push your buttons. I mean, like, not push your buttons, but have you pushing your potential out to do other things that, you know, can show off your creativity or show off your talent. You know, there's times, you know, my dad is that, you know, there's times I love singing certain songs with my dad. And it's already creepy enough as it is. Like, I can sit up here and sing Scandalous. And me and my dad sound just alike. It's like an echo. And I keep on hearing him like, whoa, that's an echo. Or damn you, I can sing that with him. And it's like, it is weird because when I open my mouth and be able to sing like that, I'm like, gosh, that sounds just like him. And you know, other people have heard me sing like that. And I sent them videos or, or I sung to them. And they were like, oh my God, that's creepy. You sound just like your dad. And I'm like, yeah, I never knew I was able to do that until I, you know, the universe pushed me out to do it until I heard my dad's higher self saying, hey, you know, you ought to do this. Let people hear the things that you're doing um let them see that different side of you and it was just like you know then I'm glad after after everything's said and done I'm really glad that I did that because it's just like I can't sit up here and tell y'all you know go for what you know or push yourself out to do this and I'm not doing the same for myself I want to be able to use myself as an example you know I got to be able to do that if I'm going to be saying something I need to be able to walk the walk and talk the talk at the same time can't tell y'all to do something I'm scared to do it myself that, that don't make any sense it's like an oxymoron or whatever but it's like, you know, when I ask, and I, I mean, I feel really good because when I asked the universe, you know, I said, look, what is, what is the things that you need me to talk about today? What do you want me to, to open up and tell them that, you know, some of us empaths are struggling for? Because it's like, I don't want nobody to ever feel like I'm trying to belittle them or make you feel small. That's not what I'm doing. Um, when universe has me speaking out about certain things it's because a lot of us are struggling through that and they need that confirmation it's just like i have one of my love bugs to tell me hey rosin i've been sending you empath the gift and you know you'll be talking about something in a video and that's giving me confirmation that you're hearing me and that i mean that pulls on my heartstrings and i'm like oh my god just to know i'm able to help people like that and then there's times where i even feel like there's times I cry and I ask God, why am I constantly getting put through certain things like this? Why do I do that? Because there's things that I struggle with is myself still trying to get through. Like I tell you, I'm going through the same thing you're going through, obviously for me to be talking about it. Or 
there are certain things that, you know, I might talk about and end up going through it later on throughout the week. Like, Dad, I just made a video about this and now I'm going through the same thing. So it, it's like i am already told myself this of going through it. You know, we get pushed out of our, you know, our boundaries or, you know, they have us pushing ourselves towards a higher level because we fall ourselves. We, we, we sometimes we cut ourselves short. You know, we don't do that. We play small sometimes when we need to play a lot bigger. You know, it's not like you're being arrogant or condescending or anything. But if there's more to you than what you show, maybe you need to push yourself out a little bit more. And that's what they're telling me because it's like, you know, I'm like, Dad, you know, I feel like I need to do more videos today. You know, because there's sometimes I do them every day and there's sometimes I do them every other day. It just depends on how much energy I use to push all these out. And sometimes I can be really tired in that because now it's like me having two people in my body now is just like I get tired a lot easier. So, it, you know, it's just the vibes are very different. You know, if you've been with me for a while, you probably noticed my energy is like a lot more calmer. But it's like my dad, you know, but my dad tweaks out every once in a while. Like he get a little sassy, you know, and I, I mean, that's where I get it from because it's just like, you know, why do I do that? But, you know, I was like, hey, that's my dad. But that's me at the same time as well. But it's just like when we're going through stuff and you're you don't know why you're, you're into it, you know, your your envelope is making you go this way. Like if it's had, you know, it makes you quit a job and make you start going for something that, you know, you, you are truly in talent, you know, truly talented with or this is your passion, um, you know, they're, they're telling you to do that for a reason, because if you're at a job you're not happy at it I mean they want you to be somewhere where you're gonna love to do it and it's not gonna feel like a job to you it's just like every job I've had I hated being controlled you know I'm, I'm a, you know with me being an empath on top of me being a tourist I don't like being controlled even though I know every place has its rule and regulations sometimes I'm used to like look like this is stupid why are you <laughs> it's like certain things that you're doing you just want to control somebody it's not because it's a rule you just want to have control over somebody and that used to irritate the hell out of me but right now with me doing what i do you know yeah i'm doing it for free for free but i love what i'm doing i know it's going to take me places i know that i always wanted to play my part in helping the world feel better and never knew this was what i was going to be doing so it's just like when I get upset and I ask God in universe, why do I have to go through all these troubled waters? It's because the enemies cannot swim. They need you to go push yourself out to where they know the darkness is not going to follow you at. But the darkness is going to try to stop you. But you're not going to allow them to do that because I know I'm pressing out positivity. I know that I'm helping people see things in themselves that they weren't able to see before. Or, you know, they're recognizing their self and saying, you know what, if Rosalind's do it, I can do it too. Yes, you can. You can do anything you press your mind to. I tell my children all the time because I was so used to growing up where people told me I can't do this or, you know, you won't be accepted for this or you won't amount much to that. And look at what I'm doing now. They saw something in me that they didn't want, you know, to show out towards other people. So I'm glad I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm glad I push myself towards different limits. You know, I, that God had faith in me, universe had faith in me, that I had this potential to help other people. So that is just a true blessing to me. And knowing when I get y'all's comments, there's a lot of days, and I tell y'all that a lot, but I let y'all know, y'all y'all make me feel really blessed. Y'all humble me a lot to let me know that my videos have helped you. My, my videos has helped you heal on a lot of things to let you know you're not by yourself. You're not alone. Um, you're not going crazy. You're not the only one who goes through these different things. Just a lot of people just don't voice it about themselves. You know, you never know what story somebody has against themselves until they actually tell you. You never know how strong you are until that's all you have to live on is your strength. So don't sell yourself short. Don't play yourself small. If you've been doing that, stop doing that. Because obviously what universe has in store for you, they got you going in places you weren't able to to have that strength to go so go ahead and do what they need you to do you never know where it's going to take you at 
So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I'm not going to give no shout out because this video is almost 15 minutes long. And it's already going to take about six hours for it to upload. So like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Much love to all of y'all. Be Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody praying out there for your better days. So like and subscribe. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to hear you. Let me know your side to let let me know if you've been pushed out had your envelope pushed to the limits for the last few weeks or you know lately and i'm glad to hear from you and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wild